So guys, welcome once again inside the game we are. Hopefully the first pick is correct and it should still be on the dire side now. If not, I'm just gonna get flamed to death probably. So fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly this time around. They didn't get the team flag but I guess they were just really, they really didn't want to put it down. The admins are not gonna be happy about it but I'm not going to delay the game for god knows how long if they just fail to do it. But looking at the bands, it was the Death Prophet banned by Bulo now. Razor taken out by Drug. They did play the Razor themselves last game, but this time around they don't care about that hero at all by the looks of it. They might even go for kind of a pushing strategy, get like a Jakiro Lycan, something along those lines running for themselves. Nature's Prophet could still also make an appearance for Drug. I Did they play a Nature's Prophet in the last game versus Virtus Pro as well? I don't know, my, my memory is just awful as you can see. If I wouldn't be solo casting, maybe I would have some more memory. I, I don't think so. I think that's a bad excuse. <laughs> but Legion Commander was the second ban and now Druk. What are they gonna ban out? Is it Ogre Magi, Scarf Mage, Tide Hunter? Nope, it's a Brewmaster instead. And Brewmaster... I see that hero so rarely these days. I mean, it always gets the ban hammer. And Scarf Mage will be the first pick. Of course, they can go for the Skyrim Mage Legion Commander combination, but they might go for like Skyrim Mage Faceless Void, go back a couple of months, couple months time, and Drak now. Do they go for the Tide Hunter? I would suggest them to go for it. Just such a strong hero. Or we'll see. They, I mean, you can try to leave it for the second stage as well, but it hardly ever makes it through the first phase without getting picked. Or if it does, it's most likely going to get banned out in the second phase. There are a handful of games when then that when that does not happen, but it's going to be Ogre Viper to begin with for Drak, the Dragon Slayers. Ogre, of course, all in all, such a strong hero, and not only is it strong for you, that denies the Sky of Mage Ogre combination, which is good for roaming, excellent for getting kills once both of them are level 6, or at least Sky of Mage is level 6 might already be enough. So that combination is denied. What do Pula go for now? Is it a something like a Vengeful Spirit? It's definitely a possibility. Just get a Venge. It isn't enough support. If not, you could go for a Centaur if you want a straight off offlaner. Tide Hunter still available. Can't believe I forgot it for a second. Witch Doctor. And what else is there that just always first pick material? Or what do they want to go for? I mean, they definitely would want to have some form of setup for the Sky of Mage, I would expect. Maybe even have somebody nice to roam with the Sky of I guess Earthshaker is available. Available. Haven't seen too much Earthshaker in the past couple of days. Although I am never opposed to an Earthshaker, it's always fun to see that hero. Nope, they're not going for anything. Nobody's disconnected? Nobody's disconnected, okay. I just had to make sure. I mean, they haven't taken like a crazy long time quite yet, but... We've had this before today. Virtus Pro, their drafter just got disconnected, so they random the hero. We remade the draft. And they picked up the same hero they randomed anyway later. So that, that was a fun fact. But 50 seconds and counting. It's just... Do, will they have enough for the rest of the draft? Well, they do go for the Elder Titan. Just a value pick for them, I guess. It's definitely not a bad hero to have. Elder Titan is strong with the natural order. Mostly you might not even notice how strong it actually is. But it does the work for necessary for you most of the time. So, Sky of Mage, Elder Titan. Not gonna be almost any good in roaming, I think. They might go try try to go for an aggressive Trident of sorts if they get a nice range hero to accompany them. Viper would have been one of those nice heroes, but unfortunately, Dragon Slayers, they have it for themselves. So, Bulo, they are denied that certain pick, that combo. So what are the next bans going to be from Bulo? Do they ban out a Witch Doctor now maybe? You know, Ancient Depression to begin with. Just to be on the safe side I guess. Maybe they're planning to go for somebody that wants to heal. Maybe something like a Slark to come out now for Bulo. Slark definitely good against the Viper. Against the Ogre as well. If you activate the Dark Pact, even if you get multicasted. You're just going to shrug it off between the multicast even. So I, I, I think... Oh, could they also ban out something like a Bat Rider? Slark doesn't care uh, just horribly much about Pathrider, but 
It's always better to be safe than sorry. Or do they take out a centaur or no? It's still a tight ban. I already forgot about the heroes just because it was ignored. Although, like I said, it hardly ever happens that the Tide Hunter makes it through the second ban phase without getting any notice at all, whether it being picked or banned. Necrophos and Puck banned out by Dragon Slayers themselves. She was just wanting to remove the Puck, which did so much damage last game. Did go for the Dagon, got it pretty early on as well. Even got it upgraded to a level 5 Dagon rather early. Now though, what to drag? go for, can they go for the Slark, do they expect the Slark to come out at all for Lycan. the opposite side, but they did go for the Lycan, I was musing about the pick, but it's like maybe they could go for it, and they did, so Lycan will be the pick for them, they got a taste of Lycan today already against Virtus Pro, Virtus Pro just demolished them with a Lycan, now Druk, they want to do the same, and Elder Titan, Astral Spirit is good for counter pushing, especially if the natural order is already maxed out and you have like one other hero, maybe something like an Ember Spirit, something like those lines. But if they go for an Ember Spirit now, it's gonna... Well, depending on how Drak wants to lane this. But it might just have to be an Ember Spirit safe lane then. Although, it's hard to say which would be better for Dragon Slayer's mid, whether the Lycan or the Viper. It, it of course depends on the matchup as well, but... Both heroes would want to get as many levels as possible, and oh, we have a Phantom Assassin. Blur is going to be excellent against Lycan because Monkey Kimbar, not going to not usually a priority item for him. Same for a Viper. Yes, last game the Viper did get the Monkey Kimbar, but that was still pretty late in the game still. Phantom Assassin, so not a bad hero to have, especially if the enemy targets pretty much don't have any base armor at all. Lycan will go for an AC at some point in the game, so that's going to start helping out a little bit. Maybe, oh, but not maybe, a Vladimir's offering as well, almost certainly for a Lycan, so even more armor coming out. So that's going to be good for sure. Phantom Assassin might find it a little bit hard to stay on target on the Viper as well. They don't really have any stuns at the moment. Echo Stomp is there, but it's a sleep, not a stun. So once you get Woken, you can start running once again. And now fourth pick for Drak. The truck tripar, truck tripar. God, it's hard to pronounce. God, it's hard to pronounce. Dazzle is the pick for them, though. They just want to keep people alive. Although they're going for a very similar lineup to what Virtus Pro had in the first game against Truck themselves. They had a Dazzle as well. Of course, they were up against the Legion Commander, so the Dazzle was a little bit more warranted of a pick, I think. But that doesn't make it any less strong. The wolves, just extra targets that the shadow wave can bounce off of. And if you have three targets next to the target already on the first level, Dazzle, he can output 240 physical damage from one shadow wave. That's the high, almost the highest damage nuke in the game. It's like Techies with the suicide can do more and maybe a couple other things. Although not a single thing comes in mind at the moment. Oh oh oh, never mind. Yes, it does. Blade Fury from a Chuggernaut, Rocket Barrage, I, tell, I think as well, from a Chirocopter, so there are things that do more damage. Almost couldn't remember them, but I did in the end, I did. Is there anything else? Hmm, something that would be... I don't know. There probably is, chat might correct me as well, but off the top of my head I can't think of any more. So last band is now coming out as the center was picked up for Bantle, but not Battle Central Hero, what am I saying? For Bulo. It's pretty hard when they don't have the team tag here. I seem to forget that sometimes. But yes, center is the pick. Center Sky of Mage, definitely a strong combination. Also a really necessary lockdown for them to have just any kind of stun. For the Phantom Assassin to get those few extra right clicks in, have a higher chance to get the crit going. Invoker now banned out by Dragon Slayers as well as Nature's Prophet taken out by the counterpart. So, Chakiro is still available. Uh, they could just leave Chakiro safe and up against Center Warrunner. A pretty favorable matchup for the Chakiro, I would think. And just have Dazzle, Viper plus Ogre matchup go aggressive. But no, they're going for a Path Rider instead. So, they don't feel the need to go for additional push, just like and it's going to be enough. They just want the pick of potential. Against Phantom Assassin is good to have just certain lockdown, but it's good against any hero really. But rather, excellent choice. And it's much easier to push when one hero is already dead. Just go.
go in, drag somebody out, get that one kill, and from there on, you might be able to just fight for 5 versus 4, even if you don't have that lasso anymore. Because lasso would have already served its purpose. And, of course, I don't think there is room for the counters of Patrider now. Legion Commander banned, no Presti attack to remove the lasso, no Vengeful Spirit swap, and they go for the Storm Spirit instead. Storm Spirit, one of those few heroes that can keep up with a Lycan, gives them some additional late game power as well, plus of course mid game prowess. Storm Spirit can just straight off jump the Dazzle, make sure that he doesn't get the heals the Shallow Graves off, and can maybe escape a Batrider or just make sure Batrider doesn't drag anybody away, just jump in immediately, Electric Vortex him down before the 4 staff maybe if he's really fast. We'll see, we shall see, Storm Spirit not a bad pick. And I guess the laning should be rather standard from them, just after life's uh, offlane with Elder Titan, Skyra, Phantom, Assassin, Safe, and Storm Spirit mid. As for Drak Trapper, for them they can be a little bit flexible. They can send Ace on the Lycan mid. Ace has played the mid lane so far. Of course, that doesn't mean that they cannot go for any other lanes, but looks like it's going to be just as it has been for every single game they've played so far. So for them, Hanscan playing the Ogre Magi, Ape Mother. On the safe lane, farming Viper, Seal Kit, playing the Dazzle, leaving Ace on the Lycan to head towards the mid lane, and Vern on the Battle Rider will be the last one. But for Bulo, our Seek will be on the Elder Titan, with Phantom Assassin played by this. Fewer than, underscore, bigger than. <laughs> no one on the Storm Spirit. Scar of Mage once again played by Seema the Slayer, and the last one will be Afterlife on the center, War Runner. Good luck, ha have fun has been called no one. Only response with have fun. So doesn't want your enemy to have luck. I guess it makes sense. Who, why would you wish your enemy luck? Fun, it's okay. If they can find fun in getting raped. At least that, that should be your mentality. You should you should all you should always go into a game with the mentality that you can win it. Even if you're up against like TI winners or like best teams in the world, complete tier one caliber, something like that, you should still have the mindset that you can win. Because if you don't, you're just bound to lose. Of course, you cannot be like, oh my god, oh my god. You, you cannot tense up. You, you have to feel relaxed. Hey, in the just Facebook post that Mushi did, I don't know, I just read the recap on it, recap on it on Ghost of Gamers, but them are not going for a straight of sponsor with Team Malaysia. They got lots of sponsor offers, but they didn't take any of them just because they, f they felt like it would be putting too much pressure on them. So, they wanted to first get results and then get the sponsor. Now Verndo has the Firefly. Of course he got spotted out, so he's gonna have to Firefly immediately. He knew they are coming from him just because he has his own, own little observer ward as well. Ogre Mage picks up a double damage, so I'm gonna go bottle lane ace. Takes quite some heavy harassment already on level 1 on Sto from Storm Spirit. And Lycan every time he tries to come close. And Storm Spirit can get a few last hits at the same time with Static Remnant. He's gonna use it. I mean, Static Remnant, it's 140 damage. A pretty high damage spell on the first level as well, at least for a 70 mana cost item. Not item, skill, what am, what am I saying? Bottom lane center, might be in some trouble, but considering he's up against the trial lane, it's not going to be just god awful I think for him. At least up until Ogre Mancha gets level 2, and Ogre Mancha with the double damage didn't get anything accomplished, did stack, double stack the big camp here, so that's gonna be good. They can farm it up with a Lycan later, Ignite and Shadow Wave from Dazzle is going to be helpful, although mostly it's going to be for the Batrider, I would assume. Just stack up for the Batrider, make sure he's going to get the fast blink tagger and there on open up the game for you completely. Afterlife, he's expecting a double pull through, but it's not going to happen. So that's kind of a blow for him. Ape Mother, of course, has to tank up an entire double creeper. Three range creeps even. And he's dropping so damn low. He's gonna have to use his healing salve immediately. Howl does come out. Lycan just wants to keep on farming mid lane. But at the moment, he's 3 and 0 compared to 12 and 5. No one. He has put on so much aggression. Went for 2 points into overload as well. So he doesn't care about electric vortex, not yet at least. Just wants to keep on keeping their harass up with the right clicks. Although now, afterlife. Is he gonna get caught, caught by Handscan and Seal Kid? Pings out by the center himself and he's gonna be fine. Has boots as well. Does scout out a triple stack already. Do they have the ability to just steal it though? Static Remnant is decent-ish. But it's not hardly enough I think. Maybe with Elder Titan being there with the Astral Spirit. 
Although I'm not too sure if they want to just rotate that many those that many people down there for a chance to be able to steal the stack. Because if they're not able to actually steal it, it's just gonna backfire. You're gonna lose time. You might die, and so on. In the middle, though, Ace. But as he gets more levels into the wolves, he's gonna have a slightly easier time elasticating because the higher level wolves don't die as fast. Vern though comes in now with the Firefly. Gonna want to steal the big creep. Nope, RC gets it for himself. Now Phantom Assassin comes in as well. Can they get it? A few more Arcane Bolts. No Echo Stomp, of course, because RC is only level 1. There's another Stifling Dagger. 9 HP. Are you kidding me right now? 9 HP. That's no first blood, but that was pretty damn close to it. Really unfortunate for Pulo. Nicely done, but close, but no cigar. Once again, not gonna be enough. Ace, once again the Howl used, not gonna really help any lanes get kills or anything, but mostly just for him to get the last hits, gets the one last hit, gonna feel happy about it, but man, no one, really, so far, oh, no one, he's, he's played this lane pretty well, and Ogre Mage, although he may rotate in and try to get a kill, the success rate isn't all that high before Lycan gets level 6, and even then, it gets lower just because when Lycan is level 6, most likely no one on the Storm Spirit will also be level 6. So he's gonna have access to the ball lightning, and that's just gonna, be, be, gonna mean easy escapes once again. And it looks like Drak, they've slowed down the pulling a little bit, as Vern, one stack of sticking in a ball, make it 2. Does he go for 3 and try to go for the kill? No, he's not. Just hit level 3 himself. This Firefly is only level 1. Not gonna go for more points into it. Storm Spirit only gets a bounty rune. Not gonna help out in any way to get the kill. But just bottling up. That's gonna be fine. And he's gonna hit level 6 as well. One more creep away or one more wolf. He's an entire level ahead at the moment for oh, face. Burn. Take. Drops down pretty low once again. They might even get the kill. There was the Echo Storm. That was what they was were missing. And now, oh, Phantom Assassin drops low Shadow Wave. Don't think it properly connected on him. But he does survive in the end. Do they have healing salves on anybody? Nope. Tangos are gonna have to be enough, but that's first blood. Sima on the Sky of Mages was the one to claim it, and now he's tipping back to base. Gonna reach up the mana and maybe appear in the mid lane, try to go for Ace. Species in Storm Spirit. He's level six. Doesn't have the craziest amount of mana at the moment. Kudir gonna go, gonna be sent all the way back home. As uh, afterlife, he's farming the jungle. Not the fastest thing, but he even went for two points into in return. I mean, yes, you're gonna be able to jungle a little bit better, but at the same time. You won't have your double edge available, at least a higher level double edge, for quite some time thanks to this. So, is it worth it even, or should you have just tried to stay bottom lane? Although, if he goes back once the Viper hits level 6, there is no escape for the Centaur if you get Viper stuck. Your, well, TP will be. Now Centaur finishes up Tranquil Boots as well, so at least when he's not currently killing the creeps, he can pick them up. Pings come out onto, well, double ward. Sentry down just to make sure that they don't lose their double wards. That that was an epic waste. No one already has power trades as well. There's the Observer Ward and they're gonna get the Observer Ward down. Nicely done. 50 gold. 2 Storm Spirit. Ace, I think he should have denied it. Didn't even go for it. Seal Kit. Gonna go for the bottom rune check as Vern. Farmed up the jungle. Got his bottle now at least. And oh god. Team of the Slayer. Gonna get stunned up. Ignited to slow him down as well. Seal Kit. Does he? Have enough. Oh, the concussive shot. It's gonna be enough, I think. Oh, the howl. They needed so little more. Was the ignite level 2? No, ignite was level 1. RC gonna go for the TP out. Ape Mother used his ultimate. That was pretty close to a kill, even. Had he had more points into Nether Toxin, would have been it. But your hands can. Had he had level 2 into ignite, would have been a kill. Most likely, at least. And there's Ace. They're gonna go for him. There's the concussive shot. No one. Oh, he wasted a little bit too much mana. I even had the double damage. Just needed extra 40 for the electric vortex. Would have been a guaranteed kill. Oh man, that was unfortunate. You're gonna have to calculate your mana. Of course, power threads were on strength as well. Had to keep them on in to have a chance. So. Now, 7 minutes in. Only one kill. A pretty passive start. Yawn. Yawn. Passive starts. Fun games, man, fun games. No, Hanskin. He's the one trying to just soak up XP from the mid lane. As Ape Mother. No, never mind. I th Why did I even think he might be in trouble? What can a level 3 Elder Titan do? Whereas he might die himself. 
Heap Mother doesn't have Viper Strike, so a little bit harder. Two points into Poison Attack. Decent, but not quite enough there as well. Ace 25 and 1 compared to 49 and 16. Storm Spirit completely still wrecking this matchup. But now Hanskin is going to top lane instead. Phantom Assassin, he has availability to the crit for level 4 Stifling Dagger, but Ogre, he's pretty damn tanky. Never mind, Phantom Assassin is gonna attempt it anyway. Orb of Venom to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, another Stifling Dagger. Unfortunately, Phantom Strike is still on a 14 second cooldown. It's only level 1. But if one hero rotates in from either side, might be enough to get either the kill on Phantom Assassin or the Ogre Magi. Afterlife wants to come in, but doesn't have the Stampede at his disposal. The Stifling Dagger though with the Phantom Strike as well. Can they get the kill or already get one? Right click off. But, oh, yep, that's the kill. But there's the Viper Strike. Phantom Assassin carries a TP. He's going to escape Afterlife. He's going to be the casualty, but... Alright, it's to be honest, not worth it getting a kill on Ogre. Ape Mother at least had to rotate and Afterlife. He's going to take down eventually... Yeah, Ape Mother finds him. So I don't think it's worth it. Although Centaur does get some XP. So it's so-so. I mean, gold and XP wise, kind of an even trade, I guess. Just because Centaur, he is so low leveled. But no one, together with Sima the Slayer. Sima, of course, doesn't have a level 6, but the wolves come out. Can they get SD this time around? Electric Vortex used, silenced up as well. No shapeshift. And, well, that was a little bit easier than I even expected. But Ancient Seal, it's just so good. The Wolves going for Seema, though. Oh, the Invis. It comes in so fast on them. I think Seema should be able to outrun them. Bottle Charge shared as well. So, that's another kill. 3 for 1 now. The overall kill score. Looking at the net worth, both the Phantom Assassin and Storm Spirit are ruling it at the moment. And now Apother takes a lot of damage from Phantom Assassin. A TP is coming in as well. Apother going for the TP out, but no one gets the Electric Vortex. Apother, at least he attempted it, but there is no escape. Activates the Buckler a little bit too late as well. In the meantime, bottom lane, Firefly used from Vern. Doesn't have his Blink Dagger and isn't even too close to it, to be honest. Ace goes back to farming in the mid lane. But they're losing their core heroes, although... Ape Mother has some pretty decent farm. And, well, they still have the opening of just Lycan pushing down towers and getting the gold that way, just coming back. Skyrim Mage still only level 4, so that's a good sign as well for Drac, the Dragon Slayers. Elder Titan not yet level 6 either. No Earth Splitter even if he wants to go for it. Might want to go for just more uh, natural order. We'll see how much mana he's ha he has. No soldering yet, just Tranquil Boots. So I think Natural Order might be a little bit better in that regard. Sima comes in with a smoke into the mid lane. Afterlife, he has an Invis rune as well. They have the Stampede this time around. Handscan might be an easy kill on the Ogre. Although Ogre, still still tanky. Top lane TP is coming in as Phantom Assassin is going to back off. A little bit low on mana. He has lifesteal. Has a Helm of the Dominator now. Is he going to just steal a creep and... Oh, you steal the Satyr, get the health region, be fine. But, oh, they're gonna converge onto the top lane, the tower is so low as well. Poor hand scan, he's gonna get it. There's the Stampede, silenced up, hoof dump, double edge, was used, but not entirely necessary. Can they get Ape Mother as well, though? Ape Mother doesn't have a TP, they're gonna run into Ford. Stifling Dagger comes in, Phantom Strike as well, the right clicks. He's gonna get Arseek with the help of the tower, I think. Yes, they don't manage to sw swap the tower arrow. Now Phantom Assassin, he's under the tower, gonna get the tower down. Actually, never mind Skyraf Sima. He got the last hit. But in the meantime, Batrider also lost his life. To, I can only expect it was the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit, yes, killed off the Batrider. And Storm has the first part of the Orchid, the first Oblivion Staff. So he's gonna have it by 15 minutes in. If not earlier, if it continues like this. Phantom Assassin, do you really want to fight Batrider like that? Just a Stifling Dagger. Batrider still has Bottle Charges as well, so he should be fine. But this Storm Spirit, 5.5k net, net worth, whereas Ape Mother sitting on 3.8. It is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Just, what was just checking for, the sec, uh, checking for the second what the next game is going to be. No one drops so low in the middle. And the Shadow Wave almost got him. Literally had the Shadow Wave, wave been there like a split second earlier before the ball lightning. It would have been enough bouncing off the wolves to get the kill. It is level 3 after all. So it's... For every target it bounces off of, it's 120 physical damage. And it would have been at least 240, minimum. But 7 to 2 the kill score, or 2 to 7, the worst poker hand. 2 and 7. RC, he's around as well, level 2, natural order. Phantom Assassin comes in, there's the Astro Spirit onto 
Handscan. Phantom Strike as well from a long range. Nice Fire Blast, of course. No multicast. There's the Echo Stomp. He gets one crit as well on the Phantom Session. Viper Strike, though. Oh, can they escape? Yes, with the Stampede. They're gonna make it out. No one. He comes back in as well. They want Ape Mother with the Electric Vortex. They're gonna make damn sure to get the kill. So, Viper Strike used. They don't get the kill. They even lose the Viper. At least Vern, in the meantime, finishes up a Blink Dagger on the bat. But Pulo, they're off to another great start. And this Lycan, well, he's trying to push down the mid lane tower. Has the Vladimir's offering. How will activate it as well, level 1. But Elder Titan going to come in. There's the concussion shot. And no one comes in from a long range. Oh, he's going to get the Electric Vortex. Mystic player to get the kill. Multicast onto no one, but it's not nearly enough. And Hanscan is going to get slowed down by the Overload. A few bottle charges. Might be enough, but Vern comes in. He might get Storm Spirit. They're going to kill off one Storm Spirit. No ball lightning away. Beautiful jump from Batrider. Turning it around completely. Saving the Ogre. Getting the double kill. Or well, not the double kill for himself, I guess, but... Ending the killing spree as well at the same time. And not only that, they also get the Elder Titan. Epic strike back, Batrider. He could not have shown off his Blink Dagger at a better time. He really couldn't have... Skyrath Mage just died to the Firefly. Storm Spirit did finish up the second Oblivion Staff though. So he only needs the reset before the Orchid, so that's gonna be good. But had he not died, he would be just even closer still. So excellent jump in. Phantom Assassin still keeps on farming at center. Although he had a horrible time, still has the Blink Dagger. And they're gonna find Seal Kit. He activates the Shallow Grave immediately, but he didn't even try to go for the TP out. Shallow Grave TP would have been just fine because there would have been nothing to stop it. Don't know why he didn't do it, so he's just dead. He just dead. 2k gold on Phantom Assassin as well. Might just go for Basher next. I don't think PKB would make too much sense in this game. I mean, Viper Strike goes through it. Dazzle is pretty much physical damage and just saving people rather than damaging the Phantom Assassin himself. Battle Lasso goes through it. I guess against the Ogre match, I, I don't think it's entirely necessary, but you do need some form of survivability. Some kind of HP on Phantom Assassin because 800 is not too much. He has blurred max of course, so it's gonna help a little bit against physical damage. And well, that's mostly physical, so I guess still BKB. Yeah. I, I don't advise him to go for one. Echo Stomp used, gonna stomp only hand scan. Vern wants to come in and it's gonna get the lesser one towards Seek Elder Titan. Should be an easy target. Tier 1 goes down as well. So, looks like Pulo, they are struggling a little bit. Losing a few heroes that they really shouldn't or... Well, no one has Orchid now though. So this changes things up. You can go straight for Dazzle. Silence him up so he can't Shallow Grave. He cannot heal, can't do anything at all. And uh, so what's flying out. It's a mech recipe for Ape Mother. So that's also going to be pretty beneficial for the fights. Look at the graphs. It's still around a 4,500 Network Fleet though for Bulo. XP only 2.8k or clo close enough to that. And Truck... They are 5 manning now, they're going for the tier 1, of course in the meantime tier 2 is falling down in return, so it's not going to be a favorable trade even if they do get it. Hanscan did look like he wants to come in and stop this, All, of course Arseek, as the spirit comes through so he might be able to slow it down a little, little bit more than the Ogre Match I did, because Ogre Match I didn't slow it down at all. Bulo, if they really wanted, they can TP in and try to defend, although TPing in one by one might be a mistake. Astro Spirit comes through, Echo Stomp on cooldown, Seal Kit going to TP as well, because they're jumping Handscan in the meantime, Silent Stop. They will have the Shallow Grave if need be, and no one. He's going to have to ball lighting away, going for the TP out, and he succeeds. Fire Blast was still on cooldown. So no one couldn't get the kill, Ogre just two tanky stampede uses well, Phantom Assassin, I don't think he can escape. He's going to have the Phantom Strike to the after Afterlife though, Afterlife to the rescue, never mind, they're going for the kill, or no, they're not. That was really awkward. Afterlife didn't wait for the Phantom Strike by Phantom Assassin. He blinked in himself. Then the Phantom Strike to the center came. That... Guys, please. Don't die like this. That... Just completely unnecessary deaths. And just feeding away kills. Feeding away gold. Counter fight recap update. Show us how much he lost. Show us. I guess not. Fight re recap is not a friend of ours. But really unnecessary kills, man. That that was sloppy plays once again from Bulo. They were two and seven at some point. Now it's eight and eleven. Only a free kill difference all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, yes, farm wise, truck. They're still not getting too much accomplished, but they're getting something. At least Bulo isn't getting farther ahead at this point. One point free though, one storm spirit. Might want to invest straight into a blast stone. Just get the point booster. Get some health going for you. Eight hundred is just not too much. Although your mana pool is decent-ish, even a soul ring might help out.
I had to drink some water, sorry guys. But water is necessary at some times for casters. Especially if solo casting. Now, the mid tier one looks to be going down as well, unless... The glyph is in cooldown, so I don't think they can save it anyway, anyhow. So it does go down. TP cancelled as well by Ape Mother. And Ace, still trying to go for the tier 1 top lane. Has 1.4k goals now. He can go for the Necrovoke, but it's going to be pretty damn slow. Usually you would want to have it at 20 minutes in, Necro 3. Latest 20 minutes, really. And Phantom Assassin with the Lifesteal, with the Blur. He's going for Roshan, and it's probably going to be a success. In this room, picked up for no one. But look at this, 4-man smoke coming in, but without the Lycan, can they even fight this? Howl has already been used as well. RC, oh he's going to get lasso first. The, heck, the silence comes out to burn, but that's the wrong target, no one drops low. Mystic Flare does quite a lot of damage and they have enough AoE. Two heroes already done, no one completely out of mana though, but he has the invis so he's going to be fine. As Elder Titan, he buys back. Afterlife, he's around with the Blink Dagger. No one, does he really want to reinitiate into this? Well, onto the Dazzle, you may go. There's the Hooftom, catches to no one. They're gonna go for Seal Kit first, double ace to get the kill. Now, Ancient Seal onto Ape Mother, no one trying to outrun the Viper. Trying to juke things out, there's the Electric Vortex, he's juking it. RC comes in with the Echo Stomp as well, they're doing everything they can, and there's the double ace to get the kill. So, in the end, I think it was a 1 for 4. RC, the one who got last out, the only death, and he bought back as well. Of course, Ace did get the tier 1, so I guess it's something. But a tier 1 is like, meh. But at least Roshan didn't go down, so that's a positive point. No ages for the Storm Spirit. That would have been just way too devastating. And Storm Spirit? Did he go for an ultimate orb? So might be even be a Lincoln just to make sure you don't get last out. Or Fire Blasted for that matter as well. So Lincolns, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Just some nice mana region as well for a Storm Spirit in general. Or otherwise might be a straight of Hex. Which would also be a decent item. Now though, 9 to 15. Pula. Well, as they group up, they just take proper fights. But oh, Arseek once again gets jumped, but so does Seal Kid. He's gonna get silenced up, easily taken out. Maybe a little bit 2 man I use, but they don't care. After life gets a beautiful 2 man hoof stomp. As we're gonna lose his life. 3 heroes down. No one gets a triple kill for it. Afterlife even goes for a hand of minus 19, almost 20 minutes in. That's the SNY finished on Phantom Assassin all of a sudden. And it's going to be Roshan attempt numerous 2. Numerous Toss. Numerous Toss? Is it Toss? I don't know, man. I've got no clue about that language. They don't have sentries though, so the wolves will scout things out. Can maybe snatch Can maybe snatch the uh, Roshan kill? Although that will be hard as well, of course. But Phantom Assassin level 13 has the level 2 ultimate. So crit's pretty hard already. Doesn't have a bash or anything, but doesn't really need it that bad. Wolves, come on, wolves! Show us your merit. Nope. Roshan has been built, killed by the tire. Phantom Assassin picks up the ages. Storm Spirit would have been a better carrier for it, but I guess he's like, I don't want to drop items. Phantom Assassin just fine as well, he can just go balls deep now. Can go for those solo plays, which Pulo might like. 1.7k on the Storm Spirit already, highest net worth in the game. Whereas Lycan, well, he has almost 3k in the bank, but it's already 21 minutes in, and you still don't, do not have a Necrobook, if you even go for a Necrobook for that matter, but... Looking at the graph, 7.5 almost in net worth, 7-ish in XP as well. So this game is a little bit reminiscent of the last one. But this time around they have a Phantom Assassin who is just so damn explosive. Storm Spirit of course as well, a snowball type B hero. Both the Phantom Assassin and the Storm Spirit so far have only died once, although... Ace pops the shapeshift, do they really have what it takes? Lasso is gonna come out, they might even get the kill. Can Storm Spirit sip away in time? No, he cannot. Flame Break ensures the kill, so really nicely done. Ace using the shapeshift like that in the mid lane in the meantime. Phantom Assassin wanted to go for something. Is he gonna jump on Ape Mother? He's gonna get Viper Struck up. TP's coming to the mid lane. They use the Stampede. Hooftom does come out to Ape Mother. Mystic Flare as well. Shallow Grave, man. Shallow Grave. It's on cooldown. Never mind. It came out. Earth Splitter as well brings Ape Mother back for a little while. Seal Kid now. He's gonna go down. One more right click. Make it, well, three more. No crits, but. Now his Ape Mother in trouble. Oh god, he's surviving with 15 HP. And Phantom Assassin not gonna dive that far. Echo Stomp not gonna land either. Vern, he comes in. RC gonna lose his life. They're diving too far. And it's even a buyback on Storm Spirit this late into the fight. Guess he really wants to join it. He's going for top lane. Ace, he's gonna go down. No shapeshift. Gonna get silenced up. So tier 2 does survive as well. So I guess that's what the buyback was for. So not a horrible one. As Ape Mother's escape though was the craziest thing. Storm Spirit denies the tier 2. But some map control, some global goal for Drak.
So all in all, not a horrible trade. I mean, getting the storm spray kill, having him buy back as well, delaying out the items. But now Hanskin is going to get silenced up, slowed down by the Stifling Dagger. One crit from Phantom Assassin. Seema gets the kill. Vern now in trouble. Phantom Strike, Stifling Dagger. But now he's slowed down in return. No Viper Strike used yet because he has the Aegis. But is there going to be any assistance? Phantom Strike to Seema. Oh god, no, no, no. Poison Attack brings him down. And now he's going to be left to die. Maybe Seema can be there for the Phantom Strike. Oh yes, Phantom Strike is there, but the blink after from Vern. He's going for the counter kill. Stampede comes out and he's going to be safe in the end. Now are sick. They want to turn it around. Another Stifling Dagger. If only Storm Spirit was around, would be easy kills for them. But he isn't, so no easy kills. And Storm Spirit will have the Lincoln Sphere finished now soon enough. Needs only 400 more gold to get the Void Stone. 300 now. So 11 to 21 is the kill score. Lycan, whatever he gained, he just lost. He's, he's going for a PKB or maybe a Desolator. Desolator wouldn't be just god awful, but you kind of need a PKB in this game as well. And then you go for a BKB, your split pushing is suddenly that much weaker. Even your team fight, I mean Necrobook is pretty good in team fights as well. The mana burn, especially against Storm Spirit, could make up many could end up making a difference. Maybe somebody randomly kills it. Kills the Necrobox, takes 600 pure damage. But Oh, there's the lasso coming out. They drag in afterlife. Centaur will have the hoof stomp, of course. Gonna get catch Ace. And there's the Mystic Fair as well. Ace drop so damn low. Shallow Grey keeps him alive. But Phantom Assassin cleans up one already. Vern will be next. Nice Earth Split as well. Ace, he got pulled back by no one. So even Shallow Grey was not enough to save him. Ape Mother might get the Phantom Assassin in return at least. Nope. Will the poison damage be enough for the HP? Afterlife comes back in as well. Hoof stomp. They get the kills. Corrosive skin might. Is not gonna be enough. Never mind. Afterlife is tanky. Thank you, beasts. That's Lincoln Sphere finished. Five heroes down. They didn't lose a single one, although they got initiated upon with the lasso. The Lycan just hoof stomp into Mystic Flare is too much, and suddenly there's a Vanguard, soon to be a Crimson's card, most likely. And no one. He has a, another 1.6k gold. I, I think I mean, this game isn't over yet, but it really resembles like a game that the Dire Side has in the bag. Another tier 2 down, only one outer tower remaining for the side of Dragon Slayers. Looking at the graphs, a 14,000 lead, a 15,000 in XP, 25 minutes in. That's a pretty huge mountain to climb if you're Dragon Slayers. If you, if you were a dragon, you could fly over mountains I guess, but since you're a Dragon Slayer, you don't probably have wings yourself. Although those would be beneficial if you want to slay a dragon, otherwise you just gonna run away or something. No one gonna ruin the smoke. Vern, can he get the lasso jump? No one gonna hex up Vern and he's gonna be forced to escape. Going for the TP out, not too sure if he's gonna succeed. Nope, there's the multicast. He sipped one too many times. That that was just yeah, misplays. I I guess he didn't saw Ape Mother and Hanskin immediately. So he like sipped here. Silence Patrider as he saw only him sipped back, maybe thought he can get the kill, suddenly saw two more heroes. And then he didn't have enough mana left anymore. But in the meantime, Basher is finished up on Phantom Assassin. Afterlife comes in mid lane and just blinks out, uses the hand of Midas before. He's going for the buckler with the chain mail by the looks of it, unless he wants to go for a blade mail, but if you already have a Vanguard, might as well turn it into a Crimson's card. Mid lane though, tier 2 tower under quite some heavy siege from Drac. He's gonna go down or, or ace it from the background. They want to come in as well. There's the Phantom Strike burn. He goes down immediately. Hoof dump onto ace. Shallow Grief does buy some time once again. But Ear Splitter is gonna pull him back for a little while. Where's the Storm Spirit to chase him down? Handscan. Mystic Flare brought him low. Phantom Assassin. He just has too much. Just look at those crits. Three heroes dead. Ape Mother. One hero TP'd away from him. He's going for the TP out. Will we get a Lucky Bash? Lucky Bash? Nope, not gonna happen. But still, three kills for zero. Storm Spirit, he was dead from before already. Even managed to pick up a Mystic Staff anyway. Just Phantom Assassin with two crits. He is completely out of hand. He's gonna have a Abyssal Blade and only 1000 gold as well. And farming up a thousand gold for him isn't gonna take all that long. Checking at Roshan status, not up for another minute and a half at least. And after that, it's just a random generator between zero seconds and three minutes. BKB finished on Lycan though. So might help out a little bit at least. Oh, what? He gets jumped from long range. Silence up as well. No one, he's gonna get the kill. Holy crap, but no one, he's not even carrying a TP. But he's safe. 1.9k mana pool. It's enough and he almost has enough gold for a void stone. 
No region rune to find. It would have been sick if he had found a region rune now, but that jump. Man, his mana pool, his itemization is already pretty crazy. If he finishes up the entire hex, gonna be even more so. Doesn't even need a bloodstone. 23.9 mana per second as well. So in 60 seconds, in one minute, you region 1.2k mana. A little bit more even, like 1.5k. Should be it, I think. Yeah, more or less. A little bit less since it's a 0 0.1, 29 point, 20, oh, it was 23.9 or 24.9. 24.5 now, I don't even know. Maybe his trades weren't done in before. But let's say 1.4k mana then. Probably like 1450. Who cares? Who the hell cares? I, I bet nobody cares about this. These little numbers. And people just keep on fighting. Fighting! I just looked at the schedule as well. We're at least... Uh, an hour behind, solid. Because I doubt the next game is gonna start before 21, although it was scheduled for 20. But doesn't really matter. Afterlife on the high ground. Of course, he was scouted out by the Wolves. But he's just so damn tanky. Is he gonna pop the Crimson Card? Is he gonna get to pop it to the Lord? Does he care? Stampede comes out. And is there a counter initiation? Earth Splitter doesn't connect on anybody. I was pretty sure Silk is gonna get caught, but there is the Basher from onto Handscan. Doesn't even need to use the Abyssal Blade itself. Ace now comes in. Is he gonna get the Abyssal Blade? No, gonna go for Verns first. Didn't need to use the Abyssal Blade there, really, but. Ace, can he get afterlife? I think he should be able to get that. Ace, he's gonna get pulled back now and RC is around. Do we have the Phantom Strike? Yes, we do. So a 3 for 2. Not a horrible trade, I guess, but triple kill for Phantom Assassin. He just finished the Abyssal Blade. And that's GG well played. Pulo, they take this series 2-0. Rather convincingly so. So guys, this is gonna be it for this series. Pulo showing their teeth here. So they are 3-1 and one all together now. Whereas 1-3 and three for... The Dragon Slayers truck. But guys, this is not for the day. We're gonna have one last series coming up. It's going to be Virtus Pro versus Pulo coming up on this channel as soon as Virtus Pro ends their game versus Moscow 5. It has been game number two has been going for a third for 34 minutes, so maybe not gonna last for that long. But as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you liked what we did, be sure to follow Hefla TV on our Facebook and Twitter. It's Hefla TV for both. The links are also below the stream. Also, huge shout out to the sponsors eBattle, SteelSeries, Vinotech, whoa, Hitbox, of course, esportspets.com, and DailyDota2.com as well. They're doing a great job out there supporting just the tournaments, people, whatnot. I, of course, was Coucher, so you can follow me, leave me some feedback. But for now, this is it, and see you guys for the next series Virtus Pro versus Pulo.